Hi everyone, I am, this is going to be part two of my video on this uh, Picdick <laughs> D11 Pro label maker, um, where I show you me figuring out how to use it. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I figured out how to use it, watch the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to set up this label maker thingy, um, and I got to the paper part. And I took this little um, sticker off that was holding it down. But then I couldn't figure out, am I supposed to take these stickers off or leave them on? Because I was thinking if it pulls, you know, through, it'll get stuck if it's on the label part. But then it says, do not tear. So I cannot find it anywhere. I've looked at TikTok videos. I've read this thingy. And I found that it has, like, you know, um, troubleshooting on here and like how to label it, but it nothing says anything about these stickers. So I did watch a couple TikTok videos and I seen them load it and they did not take these off. So I'm not going to take them off, but I'm concerned that because like, see how this one's off center? See how it's like not on, on center? Will it like catch? You know what I mean? So that's my one concern. I don't know, but um, it says not to do that, not to take it off. So I am turning this back over, opening the thingamabobber, <laughs> and shit. Oh, sorry. Um, it says load the paper with the fi stickers facing up. In order to give you a better printing experience, please use Picdick version of the label paper. See, I'm not going to be able to use this without laughing at the name, just because I'm a 10-year-old on the inside of my head. <laughs> please make sure to leave 0.1 to 2.2 inches of label paper on the outside. All right, so I'm guessing you just put it in like so. So I have never in my life used one of these before. Um, never. Not even, like, the handheld ones, you know? So, like that. And then you shut it. Um, and then press the power button for two seconds to start. Oh, I got to reconnect it to the doohickey. All right, so to connect it... Oh, sh Sorry. To connect it to the app, you push this button up here. And it connects. It's already there. It should be. Do I have to... Is it on? I don't know. I'm going to push this and hold it for two seconds. That's what I did last time to turn it on. There it goes. Now it's connected. Alrighty. So it should be all set to, to go, right? So they are pre-cut, I think. Right? Um, oh, look, it's got like emotions. That's cool. Oh, look at the little froggy. All right, so I'm not going to go through all of these because then my video will be 10 years long. Um, oh, look at that one. We're going to pick that. Oh, and you can move it. And then let's do a text. That's huge. I don't want it that so big. Um, let's, oh, the name of the, I swatched this yesterday. So we'll do this. Intimate, high end. There it is. Okay, but it's way too big, so we gotta make it smaller. There we go. Okay. I think I should make that smaller too. Because I got to write from Purple Phoenix on there.
You, have to, you gotta delete it every time. Okay, now. I hope that's like not too close. Do you think that's too close? Yeah, okay. We're gonna try that. Let's see. And it says 15 by 30. I hope that's the right thing. I should have checked that. All right, we're going to just try it. So we're going to hit print and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. All right, we're going to hit it again. <laughs> oh. Oh, it worked. It only did half of it. What did I do wrong? All right, let's try again. Okay, I didn't have it sticking out far enough. All right, so it worked. That's cool. I know this video is going to be end up being kind of long, but um, cool. Um, I just wanted to say real quick, so I figured out how to use it. Um, I got the labels here, and they come off really easy. You just, you know, unstick it. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more and I will make another video in a few days of, um, you know, my final thoughts and everything of it. This was just my first impressions and my first time using it. I think it went pretty good. Um, again, I'm still concerned about those stickers on the side of the label maker or, or the label, um, the labels, these, you know, the stickers that were on the side, I'm a little concerned that they're going to get stuck as it gets lower, but we'll figure that out when it gets there. But all in all, it was pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You open it, you scan the little thingy, you read the directions, and you do what it says. <laughs> um, I'm excited to use it to get all my swatch sticks, you know, all nice and organized and all my nail stuff organized. Um, thank you so much, T, for sharing this with me. I am tagging her and linking her to these videos in case anybody else would like to get this because it is really affordable and um, it's pretty neat. It's got all, like, the app has a whole bunch of different templates and, like, um, I found it had, like, frames to go around the the label thingy and I think you can get labels from other places for it too I'm not sure but I'll find all that out and put it in my updated review video so thank you guys so much for watching I know this video is a little different than things I usually post but it was fun so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day bye